speed run. <laughs> and then we hop over here to the speed run screen. Let's go and do a speed run right now. And now we're over here in the Stats 1 speed run screen. And now we'll go ahead and let's take a look. And we got some other transitions too. So now we're going to start the speed run going. We got the clock going on the time right here. We're over time, but we can do this. So we're going to talk about the displays of categorical data. And I'm going to go through the concept here and everything we just learned. One, we talked about a relative frequency table. So when it comes to relative frequency tables, you could collect data on your friends on, let's say, their favorite sports team. So when you have this right here, you could talk about the Braves. And the Braves would have in it maybe... I would say, how many people like the Braves here? Let's find out from people in the chat. We'll just do two variables right here. Braves would have in it, is anyone saying Braves in the chat? We'll go with 20 people like the Braves. And we'll go with New York next right here. New York has in it only seven. We'll go seven, uh-oh. So what do we get next? People are saying go Braves in the chat. This is a relative frequency table. Excuse me, it's a frequency table. We could do the relative part of it by turning it to a percentage. But we could also ask the question by doing a bar chart. So a bar chart for it would look something like this right here, where we'd have down here at the bottom, we'd have New York, and we'd have here Braves. So a bar chart is the same way of displaying that data. Last but not least, the other one I really cared about, and we're kind of 50% through right here, so we'll hit the timer. We'll keep working on this concept. We could do a pie chart right here, and that's a horrible pie chart, but this would be New York, and this would be Braves. We'll work on this concept. We can see what you guys think about it. It's one of our new ideas. But we have here New York and the Braves, and all of these are displaying the same type of data. If you notice right here, this might have seven observations in it and 20, because that's how many we have. So what you should know right here is that this table right here, the table, the bar chart, and the pie chart are all doing what? A table a bar chart and a pie chart all display the same type of data. And that's it. We did our first speed run two minutes. That's what we want to talk about right here, the types of variables and what you need to know that these are univariate categorical displays of data, data. a table, a bar chart, and a pie chart. This first speed run, I was a little bit scared. I, I don't know. I need to challenge like easy escape to a speed run. I don't know if you can beat this time. But we'll hop back here to our main screen. And